Hey guys, we're getting into Spire Nightmare very soon with my my buddies Scoon and Midori, and then I'll be playing on my own tune and Evil Era over here, a very strong archer, and uh, he has um, his Thor here, which is going to be great. Um, so, of course, this is a powerful group, so I think in general we would be able to get through Spire Nightmare in, you know, 15-20 minutes as long as we're on point and everything, but, uh, but pr recently... Uh, uh, one of the players from my cross server and a longtime follower of Dolly Games, uh, Poison Arrow, uh, submitted uh, a suggestion for me to do a video showing one of these tricks for Spire Nightmare that can help you get through it faster. Because uh, you know these bosses have a ton of HP. The first time that I did this, um, a video of this dungeon, it took forever because um, it, you know, they don't necessarily hit really hard, but they just take forever to kill. So um, this is gonna help out. And uh, there's a little trick at boss 15 with the way that it works or the mechanics of those bosses. And, uh, and so we're going to take advantage of it by using two wind sylphs and then two power sylphs. So on evil arrow I have his Thor going. He has all sorts of stuff here. Um, so he has Thor and he has this awesome Delphic roaring lion which is going to come in handy. Does 570% damage. Uh, myself, you know, I'm going to be one of the wind sylphs mostly just because Schoon has a really crappy one and uh, and so we might as well use my Frigga. So I'll be one of the wind sylphs using Frigga here and I'm, I'm going to be using mostly steel on this tune. So it's sort of a pity because I am one of the most powerful tunes here uh, so I won't be dealing quite as much damage as I could. But just for the sake of the technique, I'm going to be using that one. Then we have Midori over here. She's at 6 million H, uh, <laughs> HP, um, uh, 6 million BR with a Medusa on, and Schoon sitting around a similar BR with his Electro Sylph on. So Schoon and Arrow are set up for damage, and then myself and Midori are set up to steal. And uh, so we're gonna try and make this good. And they're giggling away because I said, oh, I need to intro the video first. I want to do this in real time, so I think it'll be. Sometimes when I do these things uh, back over, it doesn't make as much sense when I'm going through the footage again. So we'll try and do this commentary in real time. Uh, so I'll just make sure my skills are all set up and raring to go. Okay, looks good enough. And we're ready. <laughs> I love that little turtle that <laughs> Midori is on for some reason. She always looks so cute in it. Okay, so early bosses. We actually bl blow through these pr really pretty quickly. Especially with the knighthood skills. This cluster bomb from Arrow, you know, if you... Oh, well, yeah. I'm not going to be able to see. So the damage received that the boss takes goes up. There's like a... It says a 20% chance for that to, to proc. But it's much, much higher than 20%. It shows up a lot. Like, like I wouldn't say 100%, but, I don't know, between, you know, 50 and 90% of the time, um, that is what happens. So just like normal Spyro, we do need to watch out for the debuffs. We don't want to get um, debuffed and take more damage. That's just going to be a pain. I don't know if mid... Mid did you bring Centauria? Centauria would be good here since we don't have any um, battle oracles. Uh, the uh, another part of this whole thing is to bring uh, Wind Rangers, sort of like in Dragon Invasion, which we've shown previously, is to make sure that you have all Wind Rangers and the only skill that they have equipped is Cursed Arrow. So that'll be really, really key once we get to um, the later bosses. The early bosses, it's sort of just uh, business as usual. I can actually go into Sylph mode on Evil Arrow. I do have a plan for this. Maybe I went a little bit earlier, or too early. Um... Maybe I'll just deal with it on Yelia. Thinking, uh, oh, well, I might have nice, done a nice job screwing this up. No, we're good. Okay, can I fit in two of these Delphics? It might happen. Actually, boss nine is one of the ones I worry about the most because I could probably two auto attacks while the boss nine deflect is on and I will 
for sure die. Oh, I definitely won't make that ha Delphic happen on Evil Arrow. Alright. So I just have to watch my health a little bit carefully. Hopefully this kills her. Okay, we're good. Sometimes, you know, I've, I have died at this boss before because of that D-Blake, so I get a little bit worried each time if, if I don't pay attention, if I just AFK for a little bit. It's very easy for me to die there. Let's see. Again. So I just, by default, keep two of these skills doubled up. That's that's not so much for PV, PvE stuff, it's more for uh, PvP concerns to block, a, you know, make sure that I have all of these filled um, in case somebody uses amnesia on me. But, uh, actually, you know, I should be more strategic about this. I mean, is that really the one skill that I want doubled up in case of an amnesia? I'm not sure. I, di I di didn't overthink it too much. Um, hmm. But yeah, so uh, Evil Arrow's Fatal Strike is going to be big here. I haven't used it yet. And Cluster Bomb, also huge. Let's see. Use one here. Hopefully kills the boss before the damage reduction. Alright, so we're at stage 14, so next boss, stage 15, is when we start needing to really pay attention. So maybe use one of these guys. So as most people who uh, have run Spire many a time know that boss 15, uh, after the stun, but you don't, you aren't affected uh, by the cooldowns anymore, and so you can just repeatedly use skills, and uh, and so that's what we're going to be taking advantage of. So I don't want to do t anything too crazy, nothing too big yet, because I do want to get to the stun and then go into Sylph mode. Buffer stun. So at one bar. So now she's gonna stun. Next turn, nobody do it. Oh, stop! <laughs> okay, now we're good. Probably just should have gone into self mode immediately. Okay, so here we go. So you're gonna see the kids. The kids are all going to, uh, see, they use Cursed Arrow over and over again. That's because the, the cooldown on their Cursed Arrow is also at zero, and then on our skills it should be zero as well. So I'm going to use Roaring Lion. You know, so he's struck, and there's no cooldown. So I'm going to start using Vulcans over here. And, uh, and just start hitting like crazy, doing super big damage. And this will make things move super, super fast through the later levels. So eventually the cooldowns do come back, but we can take advantage of this for at least a little while. The cooldowns also don't affect the, the Vulcan Wrath or any of the, the, the runes, so that's something very handy. Just blowing through these. I think this is my last turn, yeah. Ooh, there we are, one shot. So I'm a little bit concerned about awakening points. So I'm gonna do one basic skill, or not Delphic skill, just so I can load up on awakening points first, just in case. Maybe there's nothing to worry about. It's just sometimes right after the Delphic it can get pretty low. But each time it steals, we're gonna gain 500 awakening points back. So between Midori and myself, 
should be good to go. Okay, and so now the cooldowns are back. It's because we're at a later level. We only have two bosses to go. And so I'm going to get out of Sylph mode. And, uh, and we can finish up this boss with just regular skills. Still very nice. Okay, so that was really, really good. So now I'm just going to use these Vulcans. Um, the, the Vulcan Raz and use my normal skills. Especially with Knighthood, this will go very quickly. If you don't have Knighthood, of course, you should wait until you can get back into Sylph mode again. But here, this Criminal Trial is going to increase the amount of damage we deal. So I'll deal that skill. Arrow will deal Cluster Bomb, which pretty much guarantees that this debuff will be on. And then we're done. So, I mean, we'll look back at the footage and we can see how long this took, but I don't think it took very long. I mean, you have to sort of muddle through the earlier levels, but I think it took, um, you know, the first half of the, the dungeon probably took longer than the second half of the dungeon. So that's a really, really nice trick. It goes by super smoothly and quickly, and that was just awesome. So a big thanks to Poison Arrow for pointing it out. You know, it seemed like he had known this for a while, and nobody had really pointed it out to me. It makes perfect sense that somebody would do this. It just didn't occur to me to, to figure out. And, uh, and so, yeah. Yeah, big thanks for for the contribution if you guys have any ha have any other tricks up your sleeve and you want to share um we really really appreciate it and also i'll try and figure out a video to make that happen um so yeah thanks a bunch you guys take care and have a very good day